in the immediate workflow what happen is the immediate workflow actions will fire immediately whenever it matches the rule criteria and the evolution criteria right it will immediately fire it will just within a second it will fire the email the task the field update and the outbound message but time dependent workflow let me give an example same example that we have discussed while discussing the uh, workflow right if you remember our example was what um lead is going to have a field called date of birth i'll quickly create the lead um date of birth field okay and you have to guide me how do i create the lead date of birth field i'll go to setup object manager and uh, these are the objects i will search here l e a d lead i'll go to lead and uh, go to the fields and relationships create a new field let me give the name of the field as what date of birth but what would be the data type any guess yes the data type would be mm, mm, date date should be the correct data type here because i'm capturing the date of birth right select next give a name date of birth right and uh, i no need to give the description and uh, help text but again the text and description is very helpful when you actually create a field inside your production art so uh, you have to ignore this page layout thing this is our next chapter save all right so now if i go and create a new lead see the difference new lead has a field called date of birth right now the business requirement is the date of birth will be um, captured that's fine here it's a, it's a date fields that's why I'm, I'm i can see the calendar whenever a lead gets created and let's say i'm giving my date of birth as 30th of june immediately the workflow action will not fire the workflow action whatever you um, uh, define as the workflow action it could be a task it could be email alert it could be the same outbound message or field update by the way the same workflow action that we have explored so far you can add it for the immediate or time dependent workflow okay so for my case let's say i want to fire the email saying happy birthday lead uh when let's say zero day plus the date of birth i mean in the same day i can actually fire it one day before let me give you another example which will be helpful for you to understand let's say there's a field called subscription end date in um, opportunity okay or in account and business said that whenever the subscription end date is coming Seven days before the subscription end date, email should go to the account owner or not the account owner, the contact saying, "Hey, your subscription is gonna end by uh, after seven days, or after seven days of the um, of the renewal, the another email will go saying, "Hi, hope you are enjoying the subscription. Please share a feedback." When this second email should go after seven days. You get it. So this time, this is called time-dependent workflow, where you are actually making, performing the same actions, same task, email alert, field update, and outbound message, but not immediately. After a certain time, and and the time is depend on the the date that you are defining, plus or minus one or two days or whatever days. Okay. So let's go ahead and implement this. I want to send an email exactly same day on the day of date of birth. How do I do it? I will go back to my workflow rule. and i will edit this can you please read this line and tell me if you understood this it says you cannot add a time dependent workflow actions because your evolution criteria is what every time a record is created and edited that makes sense right i mean see evolution criteria is is what when when exactly your workflow will fire and time dependent workflow is what is, is actually is going to uh, the, the the workflow will fire that's fine but the actions are going to wait for some time and then the actions will fire the workflow will fire the workflow definitely will fire immediately whenever you create or update that's agree right workflow will fire but the actions will not fire immediately the actions will be waiting till the time come and then the actions will be fired in this case if you select every time it's edited now let's say in 1 minute five time you edited then how come the system should be waiting for the time to fire the uh, time dependent workflow actions 
it cannot wait right because in one minute you are editing five times so the the workflow actions cannot wait right that's the reason why you cannot select the second created and every time it's edited when uh, for the time dependent workflow and the same thing reflects over here you cannot add time dependent workflow actions with this option so either you have to go ahead with the first one or the second one 99% of time we select the second one okay but again it depends right so you as an admin have to take a decision whether my evolution criteria should be a uh, should be created or should be created and anytime it's edited to subsequently meet the criteria that's up to you you have to take a call based on the business need right so i'm selecting the last one the third one and clicking on save now i got another error message which says you cannot add new time dependent time triggers to an active rule which means i have to make the workflow inactive and after that i can easily go and add the um workflow time dependent workflow action so it says that no workflow action has been added so far before adding a workflow action you must have at least one time trigger defined what do you mean by time trigger time trigger is basically zero days plus the date of birth or seven days minus the subscription ended that's the time trigger okay click on the ed this edit button this edit button is for the immediate workflow this edit button is for the time dependent workflow I guess you are also doing the same thing with me. Uh, you first watch that video, understand the uh, concept. After that, you follow the same screen that I am doing, right? You also do the same step that I am doing over here. That would be helpful for you to understand and you know do and hands on. Okay, so click on add time trigger and give your zero days after the date of birth. This means in the same day of date of birth, right? See here you have days and hours as well. So you can put like one hour, two hour, three hours. And you here you can put like before and after zero days or like seven days before the, the subscription ended. Do you see over here? Here in the list, you will see only the date data type fields in the lead object. I'm done with the um, rule time trigger zero days after before after it makes sense it, it exactly same because uh, i'm putting zero over here the day of date of birth right save how do i test this i know how to test the immediate workflow right but how do i test this um, time dependent workflow let me show you first of all you make sure your your workflow is active okay so my workflow is activated okay so here it is asking me default workflow user so uh, select any default workflow user you know what is default workflow user whenever a workflow fires uh, it should be fired uh, against some system admin now I have activated the workflow I have selected the default workflow user and activated the workflow okay how I'm gonna test it same way I'll create a new lead and uh, I will make sure that the lead rule criteria satisfies right um, and the evolution criteria both definitely see any there are two things one your workflow will fire after it satisfy the rule criteria and the evolution criteria second your workflow action will fire based on whatever you have selected immediately or the time dependent one got it so there are two things now whenever i click on new button and save the lead with city new york the workflow will fire the workflow will fire exactly when you hit the save button but the action will not fire the actions will wait till the date of birth um, zero days plus date of birth whatever you have defined comes over there i think i did not uh, add any actions uh, can i go back to the workflow and see what actions i have added there no i don't think i have added any actions let me quickly go to the workflow and add few actions see the action that i have added so far those are the immediate workflow actions if you remember i haven't added any time dependent workflow action i just have given the time trigger like here you see the time trigger i have given but where is the action there is no action no workflow action has been added to this time trigger so let me just quickly click on the edit button i want to show you something over here see i have already created three actions in the immediate workflow and guess what i can reuse the same actions over here let's say i want to reuse the um, task creation okay 
do you see something called select existing action yeah same thing you get to see over here also okay new task email alert field update outbound message and select existing actions and you can select over here also so select an existing action and uh, i have selected task right so uh, these are the tasks i have only one task created so far if you have like 100 tasks created you would be able to see all the 100 tasks over here select this one and click on next save now if you see i have actually added the time dependent workflow which is uh, zero days after the lead uh, date of birth and the action is what the same task ideally it should be an email alert i am not creating the email alert and uh, the email template hope you can do it so it's a request please first create the email uh, template okay then create the time dependent workflow you can either give um, like you know a tomorrow's date or you can give like after one hour time because you can put one hour before and after right so to test the time dependent workflow make sure you give like after one hour time or better you should give tomorrow's date and wait for tomorrow to get the email and see if the workflow is coming or not